How much time do you spend aligning elements while creating your very nice presentations? Seconds? Minutes? Hours? This is the most common headache that everyone who never did any sort of PowerPoint training face. The trouble of aligning elements. Hello professionals! Welcome back to another class to improve your capability to align elements efficiently in PowerPoint. Aligning elements is what differs great presentations to, you know, regular ones. In what they determine how fast you can create a great content. If you never heard about this, you are certainly delivering results that could most likely be better produced. <laughs> the professionals that know how to use Ctrl, Shift and Alt they dominate not only PowerPoint, but several other tools in office and outside it. Dominating the usage of these keys are a game changer towards making you an efficient professional. And that is what you will learn in this very video here. Towards the end, you will see a bonus that I have prepared for you that you will love it. So guys, let's cut the story and jump into it. Let's start seeing these commands in action. But before it, remember, if you like this content, please consider subscribing. This is what keeps any YouTube channel alive. It's just as important as like. I'm counting on you, man. So guys, today let's talk about a professional alignment. And I will start with one challenge. Let's see the screen. Look at this. How much time would you take to align each one of these numbers into each one of these circles here. And how would you do it? Would you drag it? Did you know that there are features in PowerPoint that align this stuff for you like this? So <laughs> let's see. In here, first thing to do is click on the first number and click on the first circle. Hold Ctrl to select both. Then come in here to Home, here in Arrange, clicking Align, and then clicking Align to left. I also added this buttons right here to expedite my work. They are the ones, this is the very first comment that you see in here and the ones that I use most. You can do this by customizing your ribbons. It's applicable for any option tool. Then see the first ones are aligned to the left. Now let's align to the center and do the same with the one on the right. I will hold Ctrl to select both. I'm aligning now to the right and to the center. Why I'm doing this? because I'm making, I'm creating a reference and I needed the starting and ending to know one feature in PowerPoint that distributed the elements automatically. So stick with me guys, let's continue. With the first and the last element aligned to the reference to the first and the last uh, circle, let's now select all numbers. Let's click on align to the middle to make them in one line. And now let's click on the first magical button, distribute horizontally. Once we click on it, see, the numbers are proportionally distributed across the space they had available in between the range of space they had. It means between the first element and the last element. Now, how to make them over the circles? Let's now select, hold shift and select the ones on the bottom. Let's now click in align, align to the bottom, now align to the center, and guys, voila, the numbers are aligned to the center using the arrange and the align features, making this little trick here. So guys, this was the first trick for you to know how to align several elements in very few minutes, all right? Moving on to the next one, this is about uh, aligning and the dragging. So what I will do, how did I create this these icons here. I'll select the first group just to save me time. I'll go to the next one, which is empty. Paste it here just as it is. Assuming that you already created your format for your first object. Remember, when you are creating several objects, one just like another, create the very first model because you're going to replicate this towards the other one you have. All right. With the first model created, select all of them, just dragging around. Hold Ctrl and Shift, then drag right. See, now it's duplicated. I will keep holding Ctrl and Shift. See how PowerPoint is helping me with these guides? So PowerPoint is already suggesting me that I should release my mouse right here because I would keep the same spacing between one and another. Very nice by PowerPoint, right? This is called grid. <laughs> I just release here. I will keep Ctrl and Shift still pressed. Now I will keep dragging to the right. See, keeping the elements into the 
grid. I will now release here and I keep doing the same until, oops, <laughs> until the end. So let's say that my end is here and I have only six elements. You guys saw I have a gap, right? How to handle this gap? Similar to what we did on the previous slide, but with groups. So let's select each one of these boxes, do Ctrl G to group them. Ctrl G, Ctrl G, and Ctrl G. Now let's select all of them and again click on distribute and voila, they are now created evenly. So this is how to create a series of elements using Ctrl and Shift as a reference. But now you're asking me, Diogo, but what a Ctrl and Shift does? Let me show you. If you hold Ctrl and drag, you duplicate elements. See, very simple, very like this. If you hold Shift and drag, let's drag down. It drags the element horizontally or vertically. And doesn't matter where my mouse goes. See, my mouse is going to right and left, right and left, you see? The element is still expecting the same line it was vertically. If I do the same with shift and drag right, it will do the same, but dragging right. See my mouse moving up and down? The element is still respecting the same line. So Ctrl and Shift together will duplicate the element on same line. See, in this way, I simply save tons of time because I'm duplicating and aligning at the same time because I'm only leaving a very precise horizontal or vertical option for, for a point that you allow me to drag. So see, while I was explaining to you, I already duplicated all six elements on the bottom part without using this build. See how quick is that? Out is the one that I didn't show you. So what Out does? If I hold Out, Out bypass the grid. So see, I can move my element freely without PowerPoint to suggest me to stick it into any position, all right? So this is out. If you hold Ctrl and Out, you will duplicate freely without sticking to any grid, anything. You can place whatever you want without PowerPoint to bother you. And finally, guys, my bonus to you. All of these things that you guys saw here about Ctrl, Out, and Shift, I create a little explanation for you that will help you guys to keep it saved to your computer and I always refer to it in this learning path. You won't need to practice this in one or two decks that, that you create. On the third one, you already have these functions memorized in your mind. Let's see the screen. So this guy here, guys, explain you everything that I just told you about Ctrl. If you hold Ctrl and click, you select and unselect, just like Shift. If you keep Ctrl down while dragging, it will duplicate elements freely, respecting the grid or other elements. With Shift, it will move elements in symmetry, horizontally or vertically. Out does nothing. <laughs> if you hold Out down and moves, it will move freely, just like I just showed you minutes ago. Ctrl and Shift together duplicate elements in symmetry, respecting the original element position. Ctrl and Out duplicate elements freely, not respecting the grid. And Shift and Out resize elements proportionally and freely. So let's talk about resize now. If I click on this element here, click on any of these edges and hold Ctrl, see? It will drag towards the edges of, of the element, all edges, but freely. If I hold Alt and click here, it will just drag towards the edge that I'm dragging as well as freely. If I hold Shift and click here, it will enhance the element proportionally towards the edge that I'm dragging, regardless of where is my mouse. If I hold Ctrl and Shift and drag, it enhances, it increases the element area proportionally towards the edge of the element, you know, towards the center, you know, from the center to the edges, all right? And if I hold Ctrl and Alt, guys, it pretty much does nothing. <laughs> does the same as Alt, all right? How about now, folks? How do you feel? Starting counting how many hours of work you have lost at dragging things on the slide and at the end, they are still not perfect, not in symmetry aligned. I know it's frustrated, but now think about the bright side. Now on, all your presentations will be professionally aligned and not only that, will be created very quickly, a lot faster than before. Again, folks, if you like this content, please consider subscribing and liking. It's your help to me in keeping creating contents just like this very one here that you just saw. Thank you so much for watching. See you on next week.